Hello everyone. In the last class, means last video, we have discussed the one marks uh, descriptive type and few questions of uh, two marks uh, descriptive type of question. In the today's video, I am continuing the same two marks uh, descriptive type of question. Let's begin. Now the first question. Question number 17. In triangle uh, uh, ABC, DE parallel to BC, if AD is equal to 5 cm, BD is equal to 7 cm and AC is equal to 18 cm, find the length of AE. The diagram is given like this. This is a point A and this is a point B and this is a point C and this is a point E and this is a point D. It's already given in the question uh, DE is parallel to BC and also AD is equal to 5 cm and uh, BD is equal to 7 cm and total AC length is 18 cm. We needed to find the AE length. This is a question actually. Let's begin the answer. It's already given the question uh, in triangle ABC, DE is parallel to BC. It's already given here now, parallel to BC, DE parallel to BC. Now, AD is equal to 5 cm, BD is equal to 7 cm and AC is equal to 18 cm. It is already given in the question only. Okay, now, <clears throat> triangle ABC, it is triangle ABC now, triangle ABC. This... Uh, uh, DE is parallel to BC. Now it's given in the question only. Now I'll, I'll apply the formula. This uh, AD, AD by AB, AD by AB. Similar triangle concept. And next one, AE divided by AC, DE divided by AC. So now already AD length is given. AD length is given. AD length is by AB length is 5 by 12 and A is not given. We have to find out A length. Now we need to find out A length. AC length is already given. Now. AC length that is uh, 18 centimeter. So if we cross multiply, cross multiply AE, AE is equal to 5 into 18 divided by 12. 5 into 18 divided by 12. Now this is uh, 6 2s are and 6 3s uh, uh, are cancelling and 5 3s are 15. 15 divided by 2 that is 7.5 centimeter. The length E is 7.5 uh, centimeter. Here this is the answer for the question number 17. Now in 17 we have sub question also. Sub question. The question is given like this. In the given figure means given figure. Uh, if uh, PQ parallel to RS, this PQ is parallel to RS, prove that triangle, triangle POQ is similar, is similar to triangle SOR is a question. We have to prove that. Now, already is given now. PQ is parallel to RS. Now, let's begin uh, the answer now in triangle uh, P O Q and S R O R you can take uh, S O R also no problem. Now I will apply alternate angle property. Alternate angle property that is angle P is equal to angle S. See angle P here and this is angle S alternating. These two are alternating angles. Another alternating prop uh, angle property. That is angle Q is equal to angle R. This is also alternating angle property. Now, I'll apply the vertical opposite angle. So, triangle P O Q is equal to triangle P O Q is equal to triangle R O S. This is called vertically opposite angle. Vertically opposite angle from AA criteria means angle angle criteria already students may know what is uh, AA criteria I am not going to explain a criteria once again by a criteria so I will conclude triangle POQ 
is similar to triangle SOR. This is the conclusion. This theorem is exclusively proved by AA property or AA criteria. Okay, so this is the answer for the sub question of 17th one. Now, move on to the uh, 18th question. And this is very easy question because many students, they already learnt the linear equation solving if two or three unknown is given. Let me start. Solve the following, uh, solve the following pair of lines. Solve the following pair of linear equation by suitable method. The question is given like this. Uh, uh, x plus 5 is equal to 5 and 2x minus 3y is equal to Fine. This is a two equation. There is given suitable method. Many method is there. And you can go for higher level method. We can solve this by substitution within a fraction of second. But uh, this is exclusive for SSLC uh, examination purpose. So I will uh, uh, follow the as usual method is given in the uh, textbook only. I'm not, I'm not going to uh, go in a deep level. So let me take the two equations. The first one is x plus 5 is equal to 5 and 2x minus 3y is equal to 5. I will call equation number 1 and equation number 2. Now, let me take the first equation that is called since x plus y is equal to 5. Let me write y is equal to 5 minus x. We can shift x to the RHS. So you can shift x or uh, y to the RHS is also no problem. Okay. And I will substitute this y value in number 2. Y value in number 2 here. I'm going to substitute. Now, what is equation number 2? 2x minus 3y is equal to 5 is equation. In place of y, I will substitute 5 minus x now. So if we substitute 2x minus 3 of y value 5 minus x equal to 5. Uh, let me simplify 2x 5 into 3 15 minus into minus is plus x into 3 is 3x equal to 5. And I will substitute again simplification 2x plus 3x is equal to 5x and uh, this uh, minus 15 I will shift the RH side it will be 20 because 5 plus 15 is 20. And now if we cancel 5 1s are 5 4s are therefore the value of x is 4. Now we got a value of x. I will substitute this value of x in number 1. Why we have to substitute? The student may ask. We have to find the value of 5. Now what is equation number 1? That is equation number 1 is x plus y is equal to 5. It is given. That is why I have written this is a sense now. So the value of x is 4 and the value of y we have to find out and RHSS is 5. If you simplify the 4 goes to RHS side, the 5 minus 4 is 1. The value of x is 4 and the value of y is 1. So this is the answer for the question number. So now the 19th question. Uh, in the figure A, B, C, D is a square of side uh, 14 centimeter. Uh, if AB, A comma B comma C and D are the center of four congruent circles such that each circle touches externally two of the remaining three circle, find the area of the shaded region. Nice diagram. Uh, the diagram is given like this. Uh, this is a center A, sorry, uh, yeah, center A and this is center B, center C and uh, center D this uh, shaded dark one we have to find out now how to find out and this is a very easy question let me start the answer now area of the shaded region means the this uh, region the dark one area of the shaded region area of the shaded region is equal to area of square abcd means this one area of square ABCD because this is a square shape minus why we have to go minus because the the uh, this white one we don't want white region we don't want that is why minus means subtraction 4 into 1 by 4 because 4 here 4 and 1 by 4 because small circle 25 percentage is not included so 4 my 4 into 1 by 4 area of the circle see this is a total complete area of the circle. So this that 25 means 1 by 4 percentage is not included. 
So that is why 4 into 1 by 4 area of the circle. So now already it is given the question 14 centimeter is the area uh, sorry ABCD square. So area of the square is equal to 14 square because area into 14 square uh, in minus 4 as usual 1 by 4 also uh, as usual and area of the circle pi r square. So now if you simplify 14 square is uh, 196, 196 4 means 4 only 1 by 4 1 by 4 only and pi value we know that uh, uh, pi value 22 by 7 and uh, other pi value is also there 3.14712 that is bit lengthy calculation so that is why I too I will take the value of pi is uh, 22 by 7 and r square r square means uh, uh, radius this uh, total length is uh, total 14 but uh, radius is uh, half of the uh, diameter so radius uh, radius value is uh, 7 into 7 because square now if you simplify this 4 4 cancel 7 7 cancel and now only 90 196 uh, minus uh, 22 into 7 uh, that is equal to 196 minus uh, 22 into 7 is 154 so if you subtract you will get uh, 42 and the area is always centimeter square so this is the answer for 19th question next move on to the uh, 20th question this is a coordinate geometry question very easy question now the question find the coordinate of points so which uh, divides the line segment joining the points first point is uh, 4 comma minus 3 and second point is 8 comma 5 it's divided uh, uh, internally in the ratio 3 is to 1 so we have to find out the points now. and I will take the points that is uh, uh, p of x comma y be any point this is a one point it's already given an equation it is internally divides so by section formula by section formula by section formula for internal division the formula is given like this p of x comma y is equal to mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n my2 plus ny1 by m plus n this is a formula for section formula for internal division and it's already given the x1 point is 4, x2 point is 8, y1 point is minus 3 and y2 point is 5, m point is 3 and point is 1. Now, if you substitute in the formula, you will get p of x comma y, mx2 3 into 8, nx1 1 into 4 by m plus n 3 plus 1 my2 means 3 into 5 ny1 3 into minus 3 by m plus n 3 plus 1 and if you simplify 3 into 8 is 24 1 into 4 is 4 divided by 3 plus 1 is 4 and 5 3 is 15 plus into minus is minus and 3 into minus 1 is minus 3 by 4 if you simplify 28 by 4 12 by 4 and 28 by 4 means 7 and 12 by 4 means 3 so this is the answer for the Question number 20. Now, move on to the 21st question. Uh, the given question is like this. Uh, prove that uh, 3 plus root 5 is an irrational number. How to find out uh, this answer? You, and student, uh, everyone knows what is meant by irrational number. Now, by assuming that, how to write the answer? By assuming that, suppose... Contrapositive method we have to apply. Suppose 3 plus 5 is rational number. 3 plus 5 is rational number. Then rational number we have to express in P by Q form. That is 3 plus 5 is equal to P by Q. Where this P comma Q always belongs to integer. Integer is represented by Z or I. But condition that Q must not contain the value 0. That is why Q is not equal to 0. This is very important condition. Student has to write Q is not equal to 0. Otherwise, they will may chances of losing the maximum. And now, this uh, 3, I will shift to the other side. Root 5 is equal to uh, P by Q. And this 3 shifted here, minus 3. And if you cross multiply, means uh, taking the LCM, 
uh, p minus 3q divided by 5. Now, so this is clearly rational number form. See, rational number form now is a rational number. But we know that already root 5 is not a rational number. That is always a rational number. By hence our assumption is wrong because we have assumed it is a rational number, but we got root 5 is a not a rational number. Not a rational number means a rational number. So, hence our assumption is wrong, totally wrong. Um, therefore, uh, 3 plus root 5 is a irrational. This is the conclusion. So, our, our, our assumption is wrong. That is why 3 plus root 5 is an irrational number. Okay, this is the answer for 21st question. Next, move on to the uh, 22nd question. Next, uh, the 22nd question given like this. Uh, sum and product of uh, zeros of a quadratic polynomial p of x equal to ax square plus bx plus c are sum is minus 3 and product is 2 respectively show that b plus c is equal to 5a and this is a question is belongs to quadratic equation now so they have given uh, sum and product. Sum means two term is required. Product is also two term is required. Let me take, let alpha and beta be the zeros of a polynomial. You can take some other notation also, no problem. But the textbook is given alpha and beta. Are the zeros of polynomial p of x is equal to a x square plus b x plus c? It's uh, roots. Now you know that sum formula. Uh, it's given already sum means alpha plus beta. It's a formula of quadratic equation sum alpha plus beta is equal to minus 3. It is already given in the question and uh, the sum formula is minus b by a. Minus b by a is a formula to calculate sum and that is equal to minus 3 and this minus minus cancel and so min b is equal to 3. I will call this is equation number 1. We got b answer that is 3. Next uh, one more it is given the product and product is nothing but alpha beta and what is the formula to calculate a, a product it's a c by a is equal to 2 and c is equal to 2a and uh, i will call this is uh, equation number two we got the another side value same that is a a only here 3a and here 2a so that is why i will add this equation so equation one plus two Left hand side is B, another left hand side is C, B plus C, R at the side is 3A, another R at the side is 2A. And this is nothing but B plus C is equal to 5. And this is the answer for the question number 22. See, it shows that B plus C is equal to 5. Okay, remaining uh, questions will be discussing in the upcoming videos. Keep watching the uh, YouTube channel. If you like this video, Please subscribe our channel Creative Minds and uh, hit the bell icon. Thank you.